that's general manager Deku. He had a heart attack a while ago, but looks like he's back now. How will he work alongside Eric Bischoff? There's Goldberg, but wait a minute. Bad boy, Barrett, and Chable on the attack. They're both holding down Goldberg. I, I don't understand what's going on here. And there's right back. And he's, he's, get, he's getting into the dumpster truck. And they're, oh my goodness, no. He's in the dumpster truck. Oh my goodness, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, don't do this. It's deadly. Oh, he ran over the leg of Goldberg. What a setup by the Nexus W.O. Oh, my goodness. Goldberg needs some medical attention. Welcome to TWE Toy Wrestling Entertainment. What a good show we have in store for y'all today. The opening matchup will be for the King of the Ring Tournament. Introducing first, Rey Mysterio Jr. And what's this army jamming with an attack? On Rey Mysterio Jr. Oh, damn assault before the opening matchup. He's got Rey Mysterio Jr. onto the ring post and solid ring steps. Flat out assault of his buddy. I guess they're not friends anymore. Oh my goodness, I wonder why. I question that whether he's going to be able to compete still in this matchup, but we'll see. And the opponent, Zach Black. And Ray Mysterio Jr. has chosen to still compete in this matchup. Let's hope he's not hurt too badly. I guess we can say that Black has a little bit of a advantage going into this matchup. As Rey Mysterio Jr. is hurt going into it. Keep in mind this is a matchup in the Kingdom Ring Tournament. Let's ring the bell. Ding ding ding. High running knee to the face. Falcon's arrow. Ray Mysterio Jr. looks to be in trouble. Curb stomp. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Seth Black. Seth Black with an easy matchup advances and moves on in the tournament for King of the Ring. Goldberg is in a medical building. No update on his condition yet. I will follow this up later. I honestly have no issues with the Nexus W.O. taking out Goldberg. It makes it easier for my match against him at King of the Ring. However, if they plan to take me out, so right back can cash in on me and take my Galaxy title, well, they better think twice. I'm no easy task. I will take them out one at a time if they come at me. Hmm, let's wait and see. Are you cleared for action today? Hey, Deku. Welcome back. And yes, I'm 100% for any match. 
Good, good. I'm reversing Eric Big Shot's decision for your King in the Ring matchup against Chris Muscles. It never actually happened. So we'll see how that match today. That's great. Thank you, sir. Go get ready. I'm still waiting to hear an update on the condition of Goldberg. This next matchup, the winner will advance to the National Championship Ladder Match. Introducing Rubber Face Sawyer. And Big Hulk. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Onto the corner multiple times by Big Hulk. And then a suplex down goes Rubber Face Sawyer. And another suplex. Big Hulk finally going for the finish. Power Bomb. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Big Hulk. And he moves on to the National Ladder Championship Ladder Match to crown the first national champion. But here comes Randy with a or KO out of nowhere. Randall keyboard and strikes with that vicious arcade from out of nowhere. Randall Keyboard and himself is set to compete in a national championship ladder match qualifying match as well. Wait a minute. And a kick by Matthew Hardy. Delete! That ain't right. Roman, I hope you're watching this. Oh, I really gotta go to the restroom. Oh, there's no toilet here. Oh my, he just took a dump. He just he just shit on Jabaga's grave. Oh my god. How disrespectful that. It's sickening, disturbing. That just ain't right. He literally shit on Jamaga's grave. Per order of TWE General Manager Dep Cool. If anyone should interfere in this next matchup, there will be. Fire. The match is for the King of the Ring Tournament. Introducing first Chris Muscles. He's a muscle piece. Chris Muscles. A few weeks ago, this matchup was supposed to happen. But because Adam Strongman assaulted Elinus before the match could start, he was unable to compete. And therefore, Eric Bischoff, the executive producer, ruled that Elinus forfeit the matchup. But as we saw earlier, Dead Cool, the GM, has reversed Eric Big Soft's decision. And the opponent, Elinus. Now Elinus will have this matchup fairly given. A chance to compete in the King of the Ring tournament. Before all that bullshit and appearing from out of strong man that was asked by Hunter.
Ring the bell. Ding ding ding. Oh, slime by Chris Muscles. He's got Eli Nets on his shoulders and a slam. One, two shoulders up. He's trying to get the muscle lock, but an elbow fights back Elinus and stops. Trip away. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Your winner, Elinus. And just like that, he continues in the King of the Ring tournament. Oh no, look out! He like this is Adam Strongman. Power slam in the center of the ring. <sighs> Laying him out. But what's this? Look at the strength and press him. Not again in a second power slam in the center of the ring. Elite is taken out by Adam Strongback. He's trying to get in the favor of management's hunter. And wait a minute, AJ Styles has, is coming out here. Hey referee, come on. Confess that Jeffrey Hardy is your drug supplier. That gets the referee's attention. No. No. That referee is denying it. But hold on a second. Here comes the TWE general manager. Get cool. Hey, AJ. AJ Styles, listen. If you attack the referee again, not only will you be suspended for 30 days, but you will lose your buy in the King of the Ring tournament. Oh, and also, get ready because you have a match in today's main event versus Jeffrey Hardy. And AJ Styles is not pleased with that and he's getting out of here. Also, to the Nexus W.O. If you do to anyone else what you did to Goldberg, then all of you will be suspended for a year without pay. Also, Chamo, you'll be stripped of the Intercontinental title and right back you will vacate your moolah in the bank. I hope I might I made myself clear. Cold feet back up and chart toy puts him back down. They're both trying to pin him, but I think they forgot something. Um where's the referee? You are supposed to bring the referee. Um, no, I thought you were getting the referee. Um, no, you idiot. I'll wait right here. I don't need to run over Owens with a garbage truck, fellas. It would have been fun, though. Just like I had Fun shooting Owens with a chair at Christmas Clash. Yeah, I had fun doing it. I didn't do it to get disqualified. I didn't do it because I feared losing my title to Owens. No fella, I did it because it made me smile. Owens is not gonna stun me again I'm gonna kick his head off and fellas I'm still leaving King of the Ring with an Intercontinental Championship 
and Owen's insulting Shabo here in the interview area. Redemption by Owen's, but wait a minute, horrible Hogan with the chair to Owen's. No chance anybody has when the Nexus W.O. work together. Now Chamber with the chair and multiple shots to Owens. Oh my goodness. Lay down with the chair. There's Roman Reigns and his cousin's gravesite. Solo. Stop hiding. Come out and fight. Where is he? There's no sign of him. Maybe he took off already. Oh, an attack from behind with the shovel. And he's choking Roman Rage with the shovel right in their cousin's grave. The same cousin Chambaga himself murdered. This has gone way beyond too personal. And now we got this singles matchup that Baby Spidey requested a match against anyone from the roster. So it's the leader of the Spidey Club, Baby Spidey. He's got Iron Spidey and Tom Spidey in his corner. And his opponent appears to be Ant Toy. Let's start the action. Bing, bing, bing. Drop kick knocks out Antoy. Second set of drop kicks. Now baby Spidey on the top rope. Antoy in trouble. Spidey splash. He's going for the finishing move. Spidey clash. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. And your winner, Baby Spidey. And there's the Spidey Club left looking strong with a leader getting a W in this one. And now the Spidey Club is surrounding Antoy. I'm sure they're not finished with him yet. Tom Spidey has Antoy. And what a slam to the mat. Unnecessary post mat assault. But wait a minute, here comes D Rex once again. And this time he's saving Antoy. D Rex once again saving someone from the trouble of the Spidey Club. And Spidey Club won't be happy about it. Referee, follow me. Follow me. And the referee is following Chark Toy. Adam Strongman is doing Hunter's dirty work. Okay, fine. How about you and I have a match? And since Hunter wants me out of the King of the Ring, if you beat me, you can replace me in the tournament. I'm not scared of you, Adam Strongman. And remember, TWE stands for Talk with E Linus. Where's Kofi? He got up and left. And you didn't stop him? Whoopsie. You are an idiot. I've just been told Goldberg has left the medical center against doctor's orders. The next match is for the King of the Ring tournament introducing representing the nexus world order bad boy barrett bad boy barrett with a opportunity to 
to be king of the ring. I'm sure he'll make horrible Hogan proud. And the opponent representing the Guardians, D Rex. D Rex with a chance at the king of the ring. In order to move on, he must defeat Bad Boy Barrett. Looks like they're both ready. Ring that damn bell. Ding, ding, ding. D-Rex with a spine buster and shoulders up before the rep can count. Oh, and a, another slam by D-Rex. And an elbow knocks out D-Rex. Waist slam by bad boy Barrett. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Your winner, Bad Boy Barrett. And Bad Boy Barrett is moving on in the tournament for the King of the Ring. But hold on a second, here comes Iron Spidey and Tom Spidey of the Spidey Club. I'm sure they're here to target D-Rex after what happened earlier on. What a slam by Tom Spidey on D-Rex. And a slam move on D-Rex by Iron Spidey. And nobody is saving D-Rex. He's totally outnumbered two-on-one -on -one beating by the Spidey Club. Chalky wants me to join his sinister sanity. But why would I do that after they ganged up on me? That's no way to convince anyone to join them. I exploded, Black Shocker. And now they have Mystery Man join them. And now they're getting a plan together to try and take me out. That ain't happening. Hmm, green guy, we are the biggest threat in TWE. So you're either with us or against us. What is it? Against. Oh, and Chalky just punched out green guy. I guess he didn't like that answer. But here comes the other members of Sinister Sanity. Take them to our lair. He's flying him away. Where's he taking him? I've just been told Goldberg has entered the building. Will he get his hands on right back in the other members of Nexus W.O. The next match is a national championship qualifying match. Introducing first Joe Henning. Joe Henning with this major opportunity to become a star by qualifying for the National Championship Ladder Match. His opponent, Kofi. He's the TWE Hardcore Champion. However, the Hardcore title is not on the line. The winner does get to compete in the ladder match for the first National Championship. Both are ready. Ring the bell. Bing, bing, bing. Jumping crossbody by Kofi. One, two, oh, shoulders up. Jumping clothesline by the hardcore champion. Now Kofi on the top rope. Oh, splash. One, two, shoulders up. 
kill Penny with a kick. A bulldog. And he's stepping on the back of the head of Kofi and stepping on that neck. He has him set up. Neck breaker. And the pin. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Here's your winner, Joe Henning. And Joe Henning is advancing. He's now in the ladder match to crown the first ever national champion. Wait, here comes Chark Toy. He's pinning the hardcore champion. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding. Chart Toy did it. Chart Toy is the new hardcore champion. I didn't plan to lose to right back. I blew a chance at his moolah in the back. But I'm still in the King of the Ring tournament. And when I win, I'll be known as King. Henderson. You are in no medical condition to be here. You need to leave. You're a liability. You need to leave the building. I'm not leaving till I end Nexus W.O. No, Goldberg. You need to leave now. Or what? Or you will not have your Galaxy Championship match at King of the Ring. Screw you, Eric. Dead cool will overrule you. Goldberg, you need to leave right this second or you relinquish your title match at King of the Ring. Screw you both. Silver from the tag team, the Rats. The Rats' assistance is set for some singles competition. Oh, oh no, I think I know what these technical issues mean. Where is he, or should I say, where are they? It has got to be them, I'm assuming. And there they are. They are here, Mick Holy and Brother Bray. It looks like it's gonna be Mick Holy in action against Silver. And remember, it's Brother Bray who somehow has gained the ability to control the mind and actions of Mick Holy. Ring the bell, ding ding ding. And a choke slam into the mandible claw, choking out his opponent. One, two, three. Bing bing bing. Here is your winner, Mick Holy. Brother Bray is more dangerous now that he's able to manipulate Mick Holy somehow. But oh my god, it's Kane! It's Kane! Here comes Kane! Kane has Brother Bray, but Mick Holy with the mandible claw, he's got him the, by the throat. And into the choke slam by Mick Holy. These two together have got to be unstoppable. And now Brother Bray has King Baby Abigail. These two are a legitimate threat. These two, I don't know what to call them, demonic forces perhaps taking out King. And now they're gone. There's King that destruct by those two. You see, 
I pinned Kofi and won the hardcore title. That's how you get the job done. You're right. I'm an idiot. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. And Kofi like that just wins the hardcore title back. Elinus is such a fool. I'm gonna crush him and take his spot in the King of the Ring. <sighs> the next match is another national championship qualifying match. Introducing first, Randall Keith Orton. Randall Keith Orton wanted more. Program time if he wins this matchup and goes on to win the ladder match for the first national championship Then he'll most probably get Time on the program every week every episode And the opponent Miro Anyone wants that championship Both men want it, but who wants it more? Ring the bell. Bing, 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 bing. A bear hug on Randall Keyford and by Miro to start the action here. A bear hug squeezing the ribs and lungs of Randy Orton here. <laughs> Referee counting one, but kick out by Randy Keyford. And a power bomb. I believe it was Ratty Orton that poked them in the eye of Miro right there, and again. And a rat. Rat KO, I don't know where. One, two, three. Bing, bing, bing. Here's your winner, Randall Keith Orton. And Randall Keith Orton advances to compete in the ladder match to crown the first ever national champion. Here comes Matt English to check on his good friend Miro. Matt English, of course, he qualified already at Christmas Clash. He won an opportunity and then he qualified at New Year's Bash. He's checking on his friend Miro there. And wait a minute of the attack. He's beating up a already beaten Miro. The DVD driver down goes Miro. Mad English assaulting an already beat up Miro. But why? And of course, Rat told Keyboard and Kid Careless. But here comes Hulk. But he gets Rat to KO out of nowhere. You can't sneak on the sneaky snake, Rattle Keith Orton. And a kick to the head. Oh my goodness. An Iron Spidey and Tom Spidey attacking McGroot. Slammed against the heart. Concrete of the wall. Tell your friend to stay out of our business. You're just leaving him laying out. Eric, I'm going out to challenge the Galaxy Champion. And who knows, if things go right, I may cash it in today. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Why? Because Miro thought he didn't need me in his corner. Miro thought I'd be a distraction. Miro thought I will cost him the match. But the truth is, Miro cannot win without me. However, I can win all on my own without Miro. 
just like I did. I won a Christmas clash, no thanks to Mero, and I won at New Year's bash all on my own. They said, "Everyone, the drama king does not need Miro. Miro needs me." Now the holder of Mula in the bank right back is in the ring. Apparently, to call out the Galaxy Champion. Galaxy Champion Bautista, I want you to come out so I can kick your ass. We're all waiting for the Galaxy Champion Bautista to come out. One assumes that he will. How can he back down from the challenge? He will end up looking like a scared little champion if he doesn't come out. And Bautista from behind. And the Bautista bomb. And right back is down, so I guess he's not cashing in after all. The horrible Hogan from behind with a chair shot and two more shots to the back of the Galaxy Champion. And horrible Hogan's got the briefcase he's handling over to right back. Right back's got the briefcase. He could cash in and he's gonna cash in, he's gonna cash in. The champion could barely get on his feet. It looks like right back's gonna be able to cash in, but wait a minute, it's Goldberg. A spear to right back by Goldberg. He shouldn't be here in a spear to the champion Bautista. Goldberg laying both out. Most importantly of all, parenting stopping right back from cashing in. It ain't happening for right back tonight. The Guardians can't even guard themselves. Yes, I remember being friends with the Guardians. However, they, they just like Hoodie Spidey, are nothing but jobbers. Have you forgotten? I was the first TWE Galaxy Champion. I main evented the first Toy Mania. The Guardians, they're nothing but extras. <laughs> Go wash my boots, shine my mask, son, you ain't nothing. We warn you, so you are removed from the Galaxy Championship match at King of the Ring. I honestly don't care at the moment. I can earn a title match at any time. Right now, I want right back 101 at King of the Ring. I'm not sure that's possible. If you're medically cleared by then, then yes, you can have your match against right back at King of the Ring. But until then, you're suspended. And don't think about coming back before King of the Ring. Because if you do, you can forget about that match against right back ever happening. Hmm. Make that an ambulance match and I won't step into this building until my match against right back at King of the Ring. Okay, deal. Right back is next. Boys, subscribers, it's main event time. Jeffrey Hardy doing battle against his current rival, AJ Styles. And the opponent 
AJ Styles. AJ Styles has been picking on the referee. So we'll see how that plays out in this matchup. Ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Drop kick by Jeffrey Hardy. And jumps up the spring with a diving move. Referee's counting one. Two ball shoulders up by AJ. And an incendiary kick by AJ. AJ is going for the pin. But what's this? The referee refusing to make the count. He's turning his back on the pin attempt. And AJ ain't happy about it. He is pedoed. AJ Styles arguing with the official. Jeff Hardy with a kick from behind. Taking advantage of that slight distraction. And a swan time bomb. One, two, three. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Your winner, Jeffrey Hardy. AJ's been picking on the referee. What did he actually expect the referee to make a count? Jeffrey Hardy with the win. Kinda, you can argue it was tainted, but a win nonetheless. Hey, I think I figured out why the Spidey Club has been acting like villains. Okay, tell me. Let's go talk somewhere more private. Where the hell are Chamo and Bad Boy Barrett? I don't know, brother. I couldn't get a hold of them. You know what, Horrible Hogan? Screw them and screw you. This Nexus W.O. is useless to me. I don't need any of you. I'm out. No, brother. Hold on. 